We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today, I'm sharing with y'all my breakfast skillet potatoes, y'all. And here are our ingredients. Today, I decided to share with y'all my breakfast skillet potatoes. My family loves these potatoes, and I'm gonna share with y'all how I make my potatoes, okay? Okay, here, as y'all can see, I have chopped up my, some bell peppers. I already have some red and yellow ones there, and I have some chopped onions, and I'm gonna finish chopping up my bell, my green bell peppers. How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all are being safe and sheltered from the storms. Okay, here I have a uh, potato that I have already washed off. You wash these under some cool, cool running water and just chop them up. You can chop these up smaller if you prefer. Or you may have one of those dicers. I do have one, but I didn't use it. That'll make this process a little faster by using the little dice, dicer gadget. Here I'm adding some oil. You can add a little olive oil, maybe about a tablespoon. A tablespoon of butter. We're gonna melt this. Make sure y'all don't have your skillet up too high. I got mine like on the four. I'm just throwing it off like that. And I'm going to turn my heat up. But we don't want to rush our butter and our oil because we don't want it to burn. Now I'm going to add my potatoes. Now I'm going to turn the heat up. Mm -hmm. Up to maybe a step, like a medium high heat. I'm going to add my onions, my chopped onions, and my chopped bell peppers. Let me tell you another thing that would be good if you had some uh, green onions instead of the regular onions. Add you some green onions. And I'm also going to add my yellow and red bell peppers. Mm 
I'm going to use my big piece here. I'm going to use a spatula. Now we're going to add our seasoning. I got some onion powder. Some seasoning salt. Your favorite seasoning salt. And some garlic powder. Now that was a, a restaurant that my family, that was a restaurant that my family used to um, go to called Shoney's. I don't know if they still have the Shoney's or not, but when we been, visited Memphis, we would, uh, this is smoked paprika, we would uh, visit When we would visit Memphis, we would go to this restaurant named Shoney's. And I don't know if that restaurant is still there in Memphis or not. Okay, we're going to mix these around. The thing about these skillet potatoes, you have to keep, stay on your toes with these skillet potatoes, y'all. You have to keep them stirred. When they fell overboard, we're going to throw them back. Yes, my family used to love going to that restaurant called Shami's. Y'all, I'm also going to use some black pepper. I like the guy from black pepper. I'm going to put some black pepper in here. Just keep stirring. You don't have to keep. Because they're going to steady cook. And you want them to cook evenly. As y'all know, we are here in Texas, and so I don't remember a Shoney's being here, and it may be one here. If y'all know that there's a Shoney here in Texas, could y'all please, please let me know. I don't know if Houston has one or not. But like I say, y'all keep stirring these. You mix them. Because what you're doing, you're letting all of them cook at the same time. And you don't want them to just stay, just sit there and then just flip them over. No, you want to continue to do this. And another thing y'all can do, if you don't want to do this, you can put these in the oven. You can put them in the oven. The stove is clean. I'm throwing it back overboard. Back in the pot. Back in the skillet. And 
these potatoes can be served with um, um, breakfast. You know, I call them my breakfast potatoes, but these can also be served with your lunch or dinner. mine sort of big, but the smaller you cut them, um, the less time they're going to take to cook. Are y'all ready for the holidays? They're approaching pretty quick. I have lots of recipes that I want to share with you all. And a lot of requests. I'm going to try my best to fulfill the request. For the ones that doesn't know, I am starting, I have started a new family channel, which is going to have vlogs, mukbangs, and... You know, gonna have hauls, they're gonna have all kind of stuff like that. Challenges, reviews. But y'all go over there and check. The name of it is Miss Brenda D Place. Miss Brenda D Place. All you have to do is just add place onto my this channel name. Y'all go ahead and subscribe. So when I do, uh, I have one on there. It's with my my um, grandchildren singing and having fun. But um, I'm going to have lots and lots of videos on there with me and my children and grandchildren cooking. We're going to cook some holiday desserts and dishes on there so whenever we start just really I start putting them on there I can already be there waiting okay Miss Brenda D place okay y'all I'm gonna let these continue to cook and another thing I don't want y'all to think I had forgot I haven't forgot about the giveaway I got a giveaway coming up. Just trying to get my family together. It's hard in this day, these days and times to get them together for this giveaway. But I have not forgotten about it. Okay, y'all, I'm going to let these finish cooking. Like I say, just let them, just keep tossing them. And let them cook until they you can put a fork through them. Let me show you. I don't think they're ready just yet. But we're going to check and see. See, these are not ready. So, what we're going to do. What you can do is turn your heat down some. And just let them cook. Or like I said, you can put them in the oven and bake them. Put a little oil and butter on them, melted butter on them. And just let them roast and bake. Okay, I'm gonna let these continue to cook and I'm gonna be back
Okay, as y'all can see, my potatoes are ready. See the fork is going through them. So they are ready. Like I say, you can continue these on like a medium heat or medium high heat and um, you don't have to just sit there and watch them, but don't leave the, the kitchen. Make sure you're doing something else so you can make sure you keep tossing these. These got to be keep. These got to be kept tossed. Okay, so uh, make sure you're in the kitchen when while these are cooking. Okay, it's very crucial because you don't want your potatoes to burn. Okay, y'all here. I'm plating up my food. I'm gonna show y'all everything that I've cooked today. Here's my skillet potatoes. I'm gonna give y'all close footage of it. Okay. Now I'm gonna um, put some eggs on here. Bring the eggs a little closer. Okay, it's my eggs. And I also have This is all I'm going to uh, make any toast or anything like this. This is all I'm going to serve on this morning. Okay, let me show y'all the potatoes up close. Here are the potatoes. Here are my Skillet breakfast potatoes. And I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So y'all can get a good view of my breakfast. Let me show y'all these sausage. You got some sausage that I purchased from, from uh, Walmart. They're already fully cooked. All you have to do is just warm those up. I usually go to a local market that sells fresh ones, but I hadn't got around to to going there and picking up some. But this here's my here's my skillet breakfast potatoes. Okay, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get my new and upcoming videos. And to all my new viewers and subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Like always, I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit.